Okay, so the punching bag is back. He needs some attention. But before I get started, this is just going to be kind of a basic video. So if you can handle a zombie trying to sell you the fake ball earth or the fake ass moon landing, you should be okay. But this, when they show this guy right here, the, the damn grease ball, I always got to get at him. Okay, got to 33 over here. Okay, looking like the arches. Can they give you the 33s over here in the jagged edges? Giving you all kind of sixes around them. Okay, and he must be here for some award show, picking up his deception reward. Okay, there he goes again. You got him at the same spot, doing the finger point. All right, got the jagged edge right there, making the pyramid, acting like he's talking to somebody. All right, I did again, doing the Baphomet sign at you this time. Okay, both hands. Okay, with this, this fake-ass background, you're never going to see that with your own eyes. Okay, the damn sun ray. Always wearing that stupid-ass Cosmo shit. Okay, swirling the damn shit in front of you. Okay, and this is his little, whatever you want to call it, a, a psyop. Okay, I don't see how people don't understand that this ain't nothing but just a one-eye symbol. Okay, you ain't never going to see this with your own eyes. And why the hell am I arguing with some damn grown-ups about shit like this? No, nah, you didn't blind nobody with no damn science. Okay, you just kept them stupid. Okay, now we're going to wake them up. Okay, with no help from your ass. All right, so we got this session. You know, where the grease ball gets asked some, some dumb questions and he gets to act like he's smart and throw up some dumb shit so the dummies can sit there and feed off of it and, and repeat this shit. Yeah, there'll be a day when AI takes over and it'll make us their pets. Whatever God is, God is not luck. Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, your personal astrophysicist. See, what do you get from him right here? Damn coding. All right, you got the penguin down here for the 33 and also the orange background. Okay, that also gives you the 33 for the 6 6 here at Penguin UK to answer some of your deepest, most pressing questions. Yeah, so so somebody been thinking real hard about this, couldn't figure out no answers. Okay, they had to come to this guy. They always run into this chump for story time when it comes to some bullshit. Orange ass shit right there. Okay, nothing but more coding. Okay, he's on a Freemason terror squad. Okay, look, always trying to get you hooked in on some damn moon landing. If they had to, if this shit was real, if it was possible, they wouldn't have to keep reminding you about it. They don't come on the, on the TV talking about, hey, you remember this animal as a dog? Don't forget this one as a cat. Okay, so why do they have to keep coming up with this shit talking about moon landing being real? Because it's bullshit. You really thought about what it would take to fake a moon landing. Just like any other fake ass sci-fi movie you come up with, it's all fake. So yes, it's very simple, way simpler than coming up with a fucking realistic way of going to the fucking the moon. Did launch. We all saw the rocket launch. Yes, just a rocket for your damn weather manipulation. Fucking around with that shit. Probably caused a hurricane somewhere. Okay. So there's hardware there. They're they're like office buildings of blueprints for the design. Okay, so where are the damn offices? Where are the blueprints? Did what did you bring some? Okay, so you're just talking some more bullshit. Anybody can sit here and fake up a whole bunch of damn of phony ass blueprints. Rocket. Some the dumb shit. Of, of engineering hours that went behind this and the records. Yes, a whole bunch of engineering hours to fake some damn blueprints. Of those designs. If you wanted to fake the moon landing, you have to fake all of these documents. Look at this dumb ass look on his fucking face to think he's really. Making someone think about this shit. Ain't nobody curious about a fake-ass moon landing. Okay, they're going to fake some documents. They can fake a whole bunch of other shit okay, that they throwing right in front of us. It's fake-ass moon landing and, it and Mars. Me, it's way easier to just go to the moon. <laughs> and you see how he can't stop fucking laughing when, when people ask these dumb-ass questions? And it just just mocking me, your ass. It's way easier to just go to the moon. Has anyone considered that? Yes, yes. See, I, I'll consider that it's easier to fake some shit than to really go. That's why they always got to keep asking this fuck nut, okay, about some shit that's, that's supposed to be real. He's <laughs> laughing at your ass. Just go to the moon. That's easier than faking all of it. You see how he does it? Just telling you it's easier to go to the moon than just to fake some shit. He's just faking some shit, and he's going to tell you he's a fucking liar. So, uh, no, but yeah, we went to the moon. Here we go with the climate change. Always in another damn sorry I'm talking about climate change and relocating to another planet like you just moving next door or some shit. So climate change will not make Earth uninhabitable. Climate change will make Earth a living hell. In fact, 
I, I live in New York City, where in our harbor we have the Statue of Liberty. And there she is holding the deck. And he's always bringing up this damn Baphomet Statue of Liberty. Okay, for some reference on, on how high some water's gonna fucking get. And, and her left arm and her right arm is the torch. If you melt the water ice that's on, on land, the ocean level will rise to reach her left elbow. So that takes out. Then why ain't this shit melted yet? Talking about all these years and millions of years of this shit just sitting there, and all of a sudden it's just gonna start melting. Okay. City that we've spent thousands of years building uh, in the, since the dawn of civilization. So life will be very, very different. So the way I look at it is uh, there, there are people who want to colonize other planets, give us an escape route. Like who? Well, what, what scientist is pushing that dumb shit? Okay, and what dummy, what dumbass zombie is following behind that, that whack-ass shit? Trash it's a damn psyop. Let's move elsewhere. And hope we don't trash that. Well, there aren't many places to move. You'll vaporize on Venus. So you're not going to Venus. Mars rotates once every 24 hours. That's kind of interesting. You give you your 24 for the 6 while you're sitting there sp spinning around the damn Baphomet sign. It's tipped on its axis, as Earth is, which means it has seasons. And and don't worry about the damn tilting and all that shit. We're going to get to that. Caps, the way we still do at this moment <laughs> and so you can't can't stop laughing at your ass did you keep sucking it up leave him the fuck alone as earth is which means it has seasons it has polar ice caps the way we You're closing his eyes and shit still do at this moment <laughs> and there's evidence of running water on its surface the only a dummy is going to keep following this shit after he done laughed so at your dumb ass we could terraform mars my favorite word of the past few decades you turn something that's not like Earth into something that's like Earth. So then you just move there. So here's the catch. If you have the power of geoengineering to turn Mars into Earth, then you have the power of geoengineering to turn Earth back into Earth. So where do you think they're getting this geoengineering capability from? Why are you sitting there talking about letting off rockets and all that bullshit? That's what the geoengineering is. Just all that weather manipulation doing some damn chemtrails. Okay, that's all them. Why the hell are you asking this man about God? What what makes you think he got any credibility to tell you about the real damn creator? You gonna you think he gonna tell you about the real one? No, he's just gonna pump fake you way over there and have you think about some dumb shit. God exists. A deeply religious. He don't even know shit about God being existent. Okay, but he's gonna still keep flapping his fucking People guns. Are certain he exists. He or it. There are Ardent atheists who are sure God does not exist. My posture is, particularly in the monotheistic traditions, that God is typically described as being all-knowing, all-powerful, and all-good. Yet I look back through history. Uh, in particular, there is a... I mean, I can choose many examples, but one, a famous example is a earthquake in lisbon portugal okay, just, just, a, just a big historical psyop okay so famous all right so they had to pull some shit off just so everyone can know that one little event okay make an example out of when it was it 1755 somewhere around there Eighty thousand people talking about god why the hell would god create some shit okay and then make nature just go crazy on it and then just dis destroy the whole thing and the people on god. it the fuck are you talking about whether that earthquake took place on all saints day in the morning. Big ass ritual. On All Saints Day, they pulled a damn ritual. Okay, a fucking sire. When most people, Lisbon, one of the holiest cities in Europe. See? The holiest city. Church. Fucking around. Churches were the largest structures of the day. If you have an earthquake, what's the first building to collapse? It's the ones that are the largest. The weakest. The most susceptible. So, people died in churches. Then, there's a tsunami. That basically wiped Lisbon off the map. I and that was y'all practicing for these psyops you got right now. You got you can flood any fucking city that you want. You can you can send a damn earthquake anywhere you want because y'all been practicing this shit. Their God is not all good. If we define good as being in the interest of your 
health and longevity. That's a pretty simple definition. Of no, we talking good in the fact of not evil, like your Baphomet punk ass sitting right here promoting. Something that's good for you, or God is not all powerful. He just don't like your evil ass. And why are you talking about he's not all powerful, but he got to sit here and work within the limits of fucking physics? How do you know that shit? Just because you can do it? But it's not clear whether God could be both of those. At the Giving you the damn Baphomet sign. Okay, that's the God he, he he's worshiping. Okay, they march all up and down the damn street worshiping his fucking Baphomet. He probably sits across the table from one, slid him a check and a script and said, follow your fucking lines, bitch. Time for that Baphomet event. sign. So I... I take issue with what many people say God is. But there are other kinds of ways to think about God. There are enlightened religious people who would say God... Is Always trying to trying to throw in some fucking religion. The manifestation of the laws of physics. And so he's talking about some laws of physics. How, what the fuck makes you think that the God has to worry about some goddamn physics? Okay, when you can't even fucking do some shit with some damn physics. When, you, when the hell your ass went out to the Astros and did some fucking physics? Talking about some astrophysicist. You a fake motherfucker. Is God the person who tells you who you should mate with and on what and what day you should eat what kind of food and what who you know, is that your God? That's different from this other one that maybe just sort of put the universe into place. So I don't see so trying to sneak in that fucking universe shit. Ain't no fucking universe. I don't concern myself much with it unless someone finds a way that any understanding of God can give me insight into making another discovery. And that hasn't happened yet. See, oh, see, look at that. A new discovery. What are you trying to discover? Name something that you need to discover, some, some weird shit. What kind of fucking miracle do you need to see? Um, there are many people who will, Talking will shit. see things happen to them that are... In Keep their reading your fucking script, so bitch. Someone's looking over me. So that's, a, that's a fascinating phenomenon when that happens. And... When you analyze those situations... It's the fucking grease ball. Stop listening to this fucking grease ball. Get him up out your fucking brain. Get him off your fucking table. He's nothing but a damn saturated fucking fat. Talking a whole bunch of bullshit. Killing your fucking brain. What you find is... Is that we as humans simply have a profound inability to understand statistics and probability. It's really... So he goes from fucking God to talking about statistics. Listen to this and, shit. Listen to this shit. Uh, it's a quick experiment... Line up a thousand people and give them a coin and have them flip the coin. Yes. And if whoever gets tails, tell them to sit down. So it's about half. So 500 people left. So he's going to tell you about half. So how do you know exactly half the people going to flip one damn coin? How do, I mean, come on, man. We repeat it. 250 people left. In 125, 60, 30, 15, 8, 4, 2, 1. This is that's a thought experiment. So, yes, and you and you talking stupid because you're trying to make it seem like exactly half the people are going to do one or the other. This is this is garbage. Half the people set, approximately half the people sat down every time they flipped the coin. Half of them get heads, half get tails. There's one person that's standing at the end. That person flipped heads ten consecutive times. So who does the press go to? The press goes to that person and say, how do you feel about this? Well, I felt that head's energy about halfway through, and I kind of knew I was going to win. I felt, I, I saw heads on the thing. And did they interview anybody else who might have felt exactly the same way but didn't flip heads ten times in a row? Because they're on their way home now. They're not there for the interview. So we're thinking that this guy had some kind of clairvoyance about his fate. Or that he prayed or whatever. And so Shut this stupid ass shit up. You're talking about a fucking contest one time. And you're going to sit here and bring in clairvoyance and all this, this, this fucking religious shit. Talking about a guy going to worry about you flipping a fucking coin. Whereas every time he Shut did this experiment, fuck up. basically, somebody flips heads ten times in a row. Somebody. It's not going to be the same fucking person, especially if you just eliminating all the fucking tails. That's so stupid. Somebody's got to win. And so we don't know how to handle coincidences or things that are rare for you, even if they're common in total. So, yeah, no, whatever God is, God is not luck. Yeah, it's just talking some dumb shit, man. Just, just we can demonstrate that mathematically. Ass. You don't have to do no damn fucking math. Damn, they, they, they just keep on getting stupider and stupider. I'm not all that worried about artificial intelligence and robots taking over the world. But almost everyone I 
know who's an expert in it, they're worried. Because they're a dumb they're... fucking person. Who? What? Who, how are you going to be an expert on some AI and be scared of the motherfucker? You the one that's controlling that shit. Worried. I'm reminded of the dumbest Ray shit Bradbury, this motherfucker is talking about. Author of many great science fiction novel about and then he goes to some fucking science fiction book and you you got to be reading a fucking script right there bitch talking about some science fiction you go from some real shit and, and other stories he fucking stories weak ass motherfucker criticized someone asked him ray why do you have all these apocalyptic futuristic stories is this what you think we have in store for ourselves and he says i don't write these because i think that's what our future will be i write these stories so that you know what future to avoid and i said oh that's deep yeah that that shit right there is fucking deep for this dumb you see how fucking dumb this guy is talking about some sci-fi shit that he's talking about is supposed to be real so the fact that we've had our share of films that show computer intelligence taking over i think it's spooky. taking over what what the fuck uh, so the computers hacking each other then you ain't got to worry about a person hacking you the computers they just walking around they just transmitting information back and forth to each other you ain't got to worry about no person pushing no button okay all right and a little bit of spooking is a good thing it means you'll move forward you'll step lightly yeah that means you'll listen to anything some fuckers like this say and you go right along with it because they think you think that they fucking helping us. But here's my reasoning for why I'm not as afraid as AI experts. Every manifestation of computer ability that has arisen has been parsed into some task or set of tasks that we previously had undertaken, and now the computer does it. So we used to build cars on an assembly line. Now robots build cars. And cars are better than they have ever been. Uh, that's a big fucking lie right there. Get it, get it. You get a car that's, that's two, three years old. Come with a fucking recall. Fuck People up. think of robots that'll run around and have all this high intelligence. Well, go back forty years ago, fifty years ago. People were imagining robots, humanoid robots, and then the robot would then drive your car. No, not today. The car is the robot. So. The idea that you would have what they call general intelligence, some kind of entity that can learn anything and do anything and do it better than any of us, I just don't see that as the direction things are headed. We'll have tasks, we'll get some really good computer to figure out how to do it better than we can, and then we, it happens. So I'm, I'm not as worried, but if the concerns of AI experts are real, and we we need to heed them. Yeah, there'll be a day when AI takes over and it'll make us their pets. See, and again, how he slaps you across the fucking face with this ugly ass fucking look. Listen to what the fuck he Our just said. We'll get some really good computer to figure out how to do it better than we can, and then we it happens. So I'm I'm not as worried. But if the concerns of AI experts, see, look, the experts that are the ones that are making the fucking AI. They're the ones that are scared, and then listen. Are real, and we we need to heed them. All right, no, they're not real. We don't need to heed them because listen to this pile of shit he's about to shove. Yeah, there'll be a day when AI takes over, and it'll make us their pets. It's just, just something that the damn dummy wants to pick up and run with. Right. Look, look at this fucking look. Can you take this motherfucker serious with this shit right here? After he tells you some shit about God. The fucking fake ass moon landing and this fucking AI bullshit. Shut the fuck up. Look, you can't stop laughing at your punk stupid ass. Fuck this motherfucker. We should all behave. Learn how to behave better. Because the day AI takes over, they're gonna pass judgment. And we on the way for your ass. On we on the way. Should continue or not. We coming. In this world. They're rendering all these other animals extinct. They're destroying the environment. They can't even be shepherds of their own fate. So. Yeah, they'll just exterminate us all. Yeah, that's exactly what the fucking robot was. You snare snickering in your face again. Can't stop fucking laughing at your dumb asses. Who's listening to this motherfucker? Who the fuck is referring to this piece of shit? All right, you ready to hear this line fuck? Tell you he just a line fuck? 
Here we go. What would happen if the Earth stopped rotating? All right, first, for a we got this chump right here. Old ass, old ass bag of bones with the purple. You got the damn diamonds on. Just another co-signer in this fucking psyop. Oh, yeah, that would be disastrous. Dis uh, Johnny Basher via Twitter wants to know, what would happen if the Earth stopped rotating for a second? Oh, yeah, that would be disastrous. Disastrous. Look at his face again, overreacting, laughing, looking over at his script. Okay, got this damn sun ray on his fucking shirt. Right now, here in New York, you can calculate. Look at his seas. He kept, all he's doing all this fucking hocus pocus around his fucking sea. That's all he's doing is some bullshit. We are all moving with the Earth at 800 miles an hour. Okay, so listen to him. He's moving with the Earth at 800 miles per hour. Due east. Going in the east direction. So you see how this guy, you, if you think about that alone, you can tell how he's trying to disconnect you from your fucking senses, your own senses that'll tell you that you're not on a fucking spinning ball that's rotating around a piece of shit with this fucking pyramid he's throwing up. Because Earth is rotating. If you stopped Earth and you weren't seat belt buckled to the Earth, you would fall over and roll 800 miles an hour due east. Okay, so let's sit here and think about this for a second. Let's, let's use our damn senses. Okay, they tell you you don't see no, you don't see no flatness. They tell you it's because it's so vast. Okay, so when it comes to audible, Okay, the audible noise that you're hearing around you, you're moving 800 miles per hour in one direction. You don't think shit would sound different? Okay, this thing is rotating and revolving around something. What Name something that you can rotate and revolve. Jump on that shit and you're going to feel like ain't nothing moving. Shut the fuck up. It would kill everyone on Earth. People would be flying out of windows and that would just be a bad day on Earth. I'm just saying. All right, let's take this to the damn plane then, okay? Since, since we just on the Earth, take it to the damn plane. You get off the Earth. You can't. You don't see no spin still. Okay, and the Earth is supposed to be spinning wherever the fuck he says miles per hour in that, that fuck town New York for the nine. All right, so so does the pilot come on talking about okay we got to go over this hump? Okay, we about to go over the curve. Throw your hands up like you're on a roller coaster. Fuck no, you just keep going straight. There's no nose dive to hang with the curve. Why don't these dumbass grown ups think about this shit? Okay, just use your fucking sit. Look at this lying fuck right here. Throwing up the three sixes, acting like it's a fucking innocent bystander. You just co-signing, looking like an old ass, grown ass woman. What you you supposed to retire from late night? Now you in broad daylight, putting off these fucking psyops. You ain't if, nothing. If, you, if somehow we all slow down, so anything not bolted to the earth would would fly due east, eight hundred miles an hour. That's what so why don't shit move around now? You can you can spin something eight hundred miles per hour and it just sits there. Okay. To you in a car, if you hit a brick wall, you're not wearing a seatbelt. You keep going. That's why you get hurt in those kinds of accidents. But if somehow we all slow All right, all right. So then we talking about the rotation and the revolving again then, okay? How come we don't feel any of that shit? We just like making a one a right turn all damn day. You don't feel none of that shit. And you spinning. Earth, then okay, fuck gravity. Fine. I mean, people think we'll somehow we'll be weightless or we'll lose our atmosphere. No, it's just that you'll have really long days. And ski boot one asks, what's the thing that has surprised you most in the physics world? Okay, hold on. I got a question for your punk ass. When have you ever gone out into the Astros and done some fucking physics your damn self? Or did you just read a fucking book the whole time? Why are you asking this chump about some physics fucking world. physics shit? Uh, I'm surprised. Ain't went nowhere and did no fucking physics. Just read a book, got slapped with a piece of paper called a diploma, and the programming comes I on. Answer there. I'm surprised that the United States could lead the world in particle physics for most of the 20th century and then just abandon that leadership. Now the most powerful particle accelerator is in Europe. At CERN, the, the center for oh, European again, for again with the damn Baphomet sign right there on his hand, pointing and shit, talking about CERN. Okay, another ritualistic bullshit they got out there. The damn statue, Surge, the Chiba, representing they bullshit. CERN, and, and, and they, that is that particle accelerator that found the God particle, the famous Higgs boson. And and always with the God particle. Okay, creation, destruction. Okay, they didn't find no fucking particle. Saying, oh, can we do? A, a few of our scientists are on the project, but we're not the leaders of it. So what surprises me in physics that. We could, by vote of Congress, cede that leadership that quickly. And I'm, I'm astonished. I wonder, what country am I living in? It's not the one I grew up in. It's something different. I know it's a cop-out answer, but that's how I feel. Uh, Danger Dave 723 tweets, what obstacles do we have to overcome in order to facilitate interplanetary travel? All right, I got another damn question for you. Where the fuck is that space elevator you was talking about with that dumb shit? How come everybody's asking him about this shit that ain't never happened, ain't never going to happen? He was talking about the space elevator. Where the fuck is that at? Oh, okay. You know, if Voyager just left the solar system, you know, if Voyager just... What obstacles do we have to overcome in order to facilitate interplanetary travel? Oh, okay. You know, if Voyager just left the solar system... You can't stop laughing at your ass.
Please, what obstacles do we have to overcome in order to facilitate interplanetary travel? Oh, okay. You know, Voyager just left the solar system. Uh, the Voyager spacecraft was in all the news a few weeks ago, traveling fast, all right, and it's at this boundary between the sun's influence and the galactic influence. And so you can say, well, if you if you hitched a ride on that, how long would it take you? Because it's been going for 40 years. How long would it take you? Wow, it's been going for 40 years. It ain't got, it's only in between the sun and the fucking Earth. Okay. To get to the nearest star. The nearest star. So I wonder what kind of damn camera graphics that thing's going to have. It's been sitting around for 40 years. Okay. In a galaxy that has 100 million stars in it. Excuse me, 100 billion stars in it. 100 the nearest billion. star takes you 40,000 years. So the question, what does it take to become interstellar space? We're going to have to figure out a way to live a really long time or send a crew of astronauts that are really fertile so that... <laughs> you can't stop laughing, spitting out a whole bunch of bullshit. The question, some of these is dummies is probably believing this shit. take to become interstellar space? We're going to have to figure out a way to live a really long time or send a crew of astronauts that are really fertile so that... <laughs> Who the fuck is buying this shit? The 80th generation down the line is the one who lands at the destination or we have to find out something new about the fabric of space and time so that we can basically invoke the famous warp drive engines that are common in star trek allowing them to cross the galaxy during the tv commercial jean la Charon tweets no what you gonna do because we here for you because ain't no more on the way your door is kicked in where's this bullshit that you fucking selling we need it we're gonna shove it down your fucking throat where's the goddamn space elevator you was talking about where's that shit you expect the north and south poles to shift when can we expect them to shift? And what manifestations will we experience? They don't shift. They, don't shift. they can't stop laughing at your dumb ass because it's all oh, shit. Look, it's so. smirking. What can we expect the North and South Poles to shift? When can we expect them to shift? And what manifestations will we experience? They don't shift. They don't. You are a dumb fuck if you listen to anything this lying fuck says. All right? Yeah, there, there was a lot of talk about pole shifting as we went into the year 2012, all well, the 2012 hysteria. Which the was 2012, yeah, 2012 for your two threes. Books on scientifically illiterate people of the world. And so uh, the pole, uh, Earth rotates, and the pole bobs up and down over tens of thousands of years, and we and we oscillate like this the way a top does when you see a top. Oh, okay, so he wants to add in that this thing is shifting on axis. So you got to spin and rotate around something. Shift your fucking axes like you in a rocking chair, and you won't feel none of that shit. Okay, so put that bullshit in your fucking science fair and smoke that. To slow down, nobody plays with tops anymore. The fuck, he's so talking I about. I love the top. I play with I it. Love it. You spin it, and then it, it begins. To, I love the, the official word is precess. We do that, and we do one full precess every twenty-six thousand years. We don't flip. The two sixes again. Okay, this guy's nothing but a damn code. Look at this O R A for your fucking code. Looks like the damn L face. This piece of shit. Yeah, following along with this damn. Larry Queen right here. And look at this. You get the Hulu down here. Okay, Hulu also gives you the damn owl face with that shit up there at the top. Don't listen to this, this fucker talking about this shit. The grease ball. Okay, that's all he is. He's a punching bag for a reason. Clogging up your damn brain. Get him the fuck out of there. Clear this motherfucker off your damn table. So one more thing. So I can slap him and the zombie on the way out. You keep on running behind this guy. Believing this shit that he's talking about. Okay, you don't need to worry about no boxes. Or no rocks is okay. You got a big bag of sand shaking around on your shoulders, okay? And it's got a big hole in it because of this one right here. You need to get him up off your plate, get him off your fucking brain. Just a grease ball, fucking punching bag. Get him.